Today's topic, Santeria. What is Santeria? Santeria is an Afro-Cuban based religion that comes from the Yoruba people of Nigeria. During the slave trade, when Africans were taken, specifically the Yoruba, over to uh, the New World, specifically Cuba, um, the, the system or the religion we know today as Santeria was formed. Now how Santeria came about is when the West African gods came to the New World and um, pretty much the, the slaves were not allowed to practice any spiritual systems of their own. And the word for Santeria, meaning saint worship, um, is derived from the, the, the situation called synchronism. Synchronism is what had happened when the African slaves were getting caught, you know, trying to worship their, their Yoruban deities. They would be even beaten or killed, and they were threatened under death every day. So what they had to do was hide their African deities behind Catholic saints. This synchronism is known as Santeria or saint worship where the saints or the or the Orisha their true identity is hidden behind image of Catholic saints. So for example if you were to Google Santeria the very first thing that you would see is this image right here. Okay. Do not get this image confused with with the actual saint of the Roman Catholic Church because they are not. They are images of the saints disguised as Yoruban deities. Santa Barbara Chango, Our Lady of Charity Oshun, Our Lady of San Juan is Yemaya, Our Lady of Mercy is Obatala. Over here we have uh, Saint Francis of Assisi which is Orula, Saint Peter Ogun, and Ilegua as sometimes St. Martin or St. Anthony, depending on uh, which Elegua we're talking about. Now, I'll explain all those deities in a moment. So, yeah, ba that's basically the basis of, of, of Santeria. Um, Santeria is a cousin of Voodoo, very similar to Voodoo. Um, people say that Santeria is, is more the positive side of Voodoo. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how true that is or to the extent of the truth that that statement is. Um, I see Santa, Santeria and Voodoo very similar, um, but in Voodoo they have the Loa, and Santeria we have the Orisha. I explained that all these on the outside are the Orisha, are seven deities, are seven main deities. There's actually dozens and dozens of Orisha, and even in the old world in Nigeria there's hundreds of Orisha, but uh, there are seven main ones, and more after that. But um, The seven Main Orisha surrounded Olofi. Olofi is our God, represented by Jesus Christ. They all have their different aspects. Obatala, the King of White and Peace. Uh, Yemaya, the Mother of the Oceans, but not only the Mother of the Oceans, but the Mother of the World, or the Goddess. This is Oshun. This is, uh, well, Yemaya is like the Mother, Oshun is like the Maiden Goddess, the Goddess of uh, sexuality, beauty, um, prosperity, all those great things. Uh, Changu. Changu is the great king warrior. Um, Changu is the Orisha of fire and lightning. Um, Orula. Orula is the creator. Orula is the Orisha of time. Um, you have Ogun. Ogun is the enemy of Changu, the warrior, uh, the Orisha of technology. And then you have right here Ilegua. Ilegua is my personal Orisha. Um, he, he was the one who pretty much came to me when I was born. Or how you say rules my head everybody has an orisha that that rules over them everybody's born with an orisha it's, they're they're just like a guardian angel that it's the same exact concept when you're you, the moment which you are born an orisha will choose you and uh, alegua chose me he's the orisha of the crossroads and the cemeteries and uh this is actually an alegua right here this is my alegua head i feed my alegua candy um i bring offerings uh such as cigars and tobacco and whatnot um I'll get into that more in uh, other different videos because every single Orisha, um, usually when you find out who your Orisha is or uh, once you start practicing Santeria, you build the altar to them and you start serving them uh, their specific offerings or whatnot. So uh, yeah, those are the seven Orisha and um, those are really basic statements that I made about them. You can get very, very detailed and specific about each Orisha. They have so many different things that contribute and uh, make up who they are um, it's it's truly a, uh, an amazing and uh, 
uh, very simple but yet very complex at the same time system. Um, there is witchcraft involved in Santeria. Um, when I say witchcraft, don't get all like, ooh, you know, it's not like, you know, when people hear the word witchcraft, they usually think like dark things, but uh, Santeria is mainly focused uh, on positive things because the Orishas are actually, they're like angels to us. They're aspects of life. And um, we call down to the Orisha for, for different specific uh, situations in our life. For example, if you're having trouble or conflict with somebody, you would either call down Chango or Ogun. If you need like self-esteem, uh, like if you're having self-esteem problems and you want to feel like you're beautiful, you will call on Oshun. Um, if you're stuck somewhere in life and you need a door open, you will call upon a Legua. There's so many things that the Orishas can be used for um, when it comes to this world. That's what they're here for. They're here to serve us and we're, we're here to serve them. They're basically very similar to also the Greek gods. Um, uh, Chango would be, well, let me think. I'd have to, I'd have to go back. Obatala would be Zeus. Um, I, I've known Arula to be uh, Kronos. Um, Ochun, Aphrodite. Elegua, Hermes. Um, forgive me for, for Yamaya and, and, and Chango. Um, I know Ogun is associated with Ares. Uh, the other two I'm drawing a blank, but they do have their correspondence when it comes to uh, mythologies of other cultures and religions. Um, and that even goes very, very deep on its own level. Um, so yeah, like, also, like, my definition of Santeria, my personal definition of Santeria doesn't really, it's not limited to this tradition. Um, because as, as far as you know, everybody knows I'm a Santa Muerte devotee. Uh, Santeria is where you take any pagan deity, and it's pretty much, uh, combined with Catholicism. For example, La Santa Muerte, or the Goddess of Death, um, she she's banned by the Catholic Church, but the truth is, like we use her, we, we use Catholic rites when we serve her. We light candles, we burn incense, um, we say our fathers, we pray rosary. Um, and don't get me wrong, you do not have to be Catholic to practice Santeria. Uh, regardless of what anybody says or any kind of information you get about Santeria, the truth is Santeria. Even though they say that there's one God, it is not a monotheistic religion. Uh, in Santeria, there are many gods. Um, I believe the Orisha to be God. A lot of people say that you know they're 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 uh, they're just Orisha, but if you if you really do uh, some research on it, um, in the ancient Yoruba times, the, the Orisha were looked down as semi gods, not saints or anything. That's just something that had changed when they came to the New World. Um, what else? What else? What else about Santeria? I'm trying to make this video last all the way out to ten minutes. Um, Santeria is not for everybody. Uh, when you make, like, when you ask an Orisha for something, you have to go through, a, uh, like a ritual, uh, like, or, I mean, not like a, I'm trying to explain. You have to keep your promises, basically. When you ask an Orisha for something, you have to, you know, light candles and do all this, all this stuff, and, um, the thing is, is, like, if you don't keep your promise as in bringing a specific offering, kind of like La Santísima Muerte, you know, the Orishas don't forget. The Orishas will take care of you as long as you take care of them. I'm speaking on it from my aspect, though. I'm not part of traditional Santeria. I'm a new, I'm part of the New Age movement. I do not, uh, I'm not initiated with anybody. I do not have godparents, and I refuse, uh, to be initiated or have godparents. Just because of the very simple fact that, um, a lot of people in Santeria have abused their right to call themselves Santeros, even though they truly are. Um, all I'm trying to say in one long story, which is, a, like I said, a completely separate, different video, is uh, Santeria, the spirituality is beautiful. I love the Orisha. I love their energy. I love the Ashe. But the religion, if you're, if you're coming out of one religion and looking for another, don't go to the Santeria religion. Don't try to find God. Um, because you're gonna, it's, it's a business. It's a big-ass money maker. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, there are people who get ripped off in Santeria. I'm not, I'm not going to bullshit. There are people who pay thousands and thousands of dollars um, to to become initiated in, into Santeria. And in the end, that, they find out that they have, like, bullshit godparents or everything that was done was improper and whatnot. And so I came to the decision that I'm not taking a risk on, on a personal level. So I said, you know what? Forget it. You know, I don't care what anybody says about initiation or whatnot and this or that. I'm not going to um, have a God family. Um, I tried it once. 
they're very controlling, you know, they'll tell you stuff like, oh, you know, you're not supposed to be doing tarot, doing tarot cards, who taught you that? And I'm like, I've been doing tarot cards way before I even joined your house, you know, who are you, ta who are you talking about? So, it's, it's, it's like any other religion, that you find that they make money, uh, they try to control you or whatnot, but, um, if you really want to get into Santeria and be, be safe about it, not, not worry about all that crap, I am one to talk to, because, like, there's other ways you can access the Orisha without talking to people who were initiated in the Santeria. Like I said, I practice Santeria and I'm not initiated. I connect with the Orisha. When I want a legwa, I go to the crossroads. When I want a shoe, or not a shoe, uh, ocean, I go to the river. Um, the Orishas are not limited to to the Santeros. The Orishas are for everybody. You know, anybody can do this. Um, I say it's not for everybody though, just because you know everybody has a different path and whatnot and you know it just all depends you know if you feel a draw towards it it might end up being uh, being right i felt drawn towards santeria after i discovered la santisma muerte and man it changed my life around like a 360 um but yeah i love it oh yeah I, one more thing one more major point before i close this video up you do not have to be african or hispanic to practice santeria i think a lot of people think that but it's not true um my first godmother was white. Uh, this this Santero out in uh, nearest to where we are in Mount Clemens, she's white. Um, a lot of people who practice Santeria, Santeria is not limited to anybody. Santeria is a multicultural spiritual system. Okay, and that's what I follow. I don't follow the Santeria religion. I, I follow Santeria spiritual system. Um, that's why you don't see me wearing white. Santeros are supposed to be wearing white. I'm like, Psh. I'm part of La Santisima Muerte. I wear black, but you know what? It doesn't conflict with anything. It's just my personal belief. But yeah, I mean, don't feel, don't shy away from from Santeria because it's an African religion. Like I say, white, black, Asian, Mexican. This is something. Santeria is so multicultural. It has aspects from other religions in it, and um, it, it, it's pretty cool. You know, you gain control of your life, and there's so much to gain from it if if you're serious. And at the same time, you know, if there's something that you're one of those people that just likes to fuck around with stuff, um, there's a lot to lose at the same time. So. Uh, yeah, this is my basic intro to Santeria. Uh, any questions, feel free to uh, inbox or uh, leave me a comment. Have a good day.